Hello everybody, Nina Soden here with today's Friday Reads and I'm going to be talking about Gwendy's Button Box by Stephen King and Richard Schismar. Not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but I hope I am. All right, so this is a cute little novella. It is only 166 pages long, so it's a super quick read. All right, I'm going to read you the back so that you have a little idea of what it's about. All right. The little town of Castle Rock, Maine, has witnessed some strange events and unusual visitors over the years, but there is one story that has never been told until now. In the summer of 1974, 12-year-old Gwendy Peterson encounters a strange stranger sitting on a park bench, dressed in black jeans, a black coat, and a black bowler hat, unusual for such a warm day. This man in black is here in Castle Rock specifically to pass along an obligation for Gwendy that is both fantastic and terrifying. On his behalf and for an unspecified period of time, she must take possession of and hide from the rest of the world a small mahogany box adorned with multicolored buttons and levers. The reward for safeguarding the box will transform her life in ways Gwendy could never imagine, but the price to pay for her failure could very well mean the end of everything. Dun dun dun. All right, so I have never read anything by Richard Schismar, but I've always loved Stephen King. So a friend of mine gave me this book and I thought, oh yeah, Stephen King, sure, I'll read it. And Although it doesn't have the creepy factor that most Stephen King books have, it does still have this kind of um, mystical, magical element to it and that, that you kind of get familiar with reading when you're reading Stephen King a lot. Uh, one of the things that I love about Stephen King is that he doesn't treat the audience, treat the readers like they're stupid. He gives you a little... And he just assumes that the reader is going to suspend their disbelief and kind of go with the flow when they're reading a book. And the funny thing is, is I do. I crack open a Stephen King book and boom, instantly I am drawn into that world and just taken away. And everything is okay. Everything makes sense. Everything can happen. Anything can happen. Now, one thing I did like about this, because it's a novella, it's so short, you don't have that usual, you know, 50 to 100 pages of slow buildup that you get with a lot of the Stephen King novels. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I absolutely love reading Stephen King, but as an avid Stephen King reader, I can say that usually the first 50 to 100 pages for me are very slow. And then I'm like thrust in full speed to the action and loving it. With this, it's so short, you really can't have a slow build, and it doesn't. You jump into Gwendy's world right from page one, and everything happens. So, obviously, she encounters this stranger, and as a mom, I'm sitting there going, don't go talk to him, don't go talk to him. And, of course, like in all horror films, she goes to the man or she goes to the sound, she opens the door or whatever it is, your analogy that you think of when you think of horror films. She does that. She goes and she talks to the stranger, which, ah, she knows better. She even tells him, I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. Oh, I can't take candy from strangers. I mean, she knows better, but yet she goes anyway. And, it, and luckily it turns out that he's not there to kidnap her or do bad things to her, or whatever my mom brain tells me would happen. So don't go talk to the strangers. So this, this book is very simple. The story is very simple. It begs the question, or it asks the question, if you had a magic button box that could grant your every desire and destroy lives and everything in its wake, what would you do? I mean, it's a pretty simple question. Would you push the buttons? <laughs> what would you do with your button box? And how would that responsibility weigh on you over time? Okay. 
But then you ask that question of a 12 year old little girl and you put all that responsibility onto a child. And that's where protecting the box, where figuring out what you're gonna do with your button box becomes a lot more complex. Asking that of a child changes the dynamic of what that question is and what the impacts of that question could be. And that's what they did with this book. All right, so the characters are mainly Gwendy, this 12-year-old girl who um, we follow from the age that she's 12 until she graduates college. So in this short 166 pages, we get to see this girl grow up and all of her life choices and how having this button box has affected her over the years and how it has colored her decisions in life. And it is a quick read, but it is an awesome read. I had a lot of fun with this book. I enjoyed it um, immensely because I enjoyed watching how she changed as she got older. And it's funny that we can understand the decisions that she made in the moments that she made them. So I really liked this. I enjoyed this short little novella. I will be looking for more things by Richard Schismar <laughs> because I would love to take a look at his reading and, and see what I think of that. Um, but of course, Stephen King, always at the top of my list of authors that I'm gonna be reading. So. If you would like to satisfy a quick craving of Stephen King, get this book. It does not take a long time to read. Again, it's 166 pages. You can read that in a day. Check out Gwendy's Button Box. It is awesome. If you have read Gwendy's Button Box, comment below and tell me what you thought about it because I would love to know your thoughts on what you would do with the button box if you were charged with protecting it and keeping it safe and secure. All right, check out Wendy's button box. There is a, um, if you check out my blog post, then you will see the link to purchase this on Amazon. But Otherwise, if you liked this video, click like and definitely click subscribe so that you never miss one of my videos. I am very new to YouTube, so I would appreciate the likes and the shares and the subscriptions so that I can get these videos out there and other people can start enjoying them. Have a great day, everybody. I hope you enjoy this video and check out Wendy's Button Box.